do have an update for you now tonight. Two men are under arrest after Metro police shot one of them following a chase and a crash. So police have since identified the suspect shot as Christian Myers. He's in the hospital in critical condition. Our John Duran today has been looking into this all day long and joins us now from Broad Ripple where the whole incident started. Around 3 o'clock Sunday morning, just off Broad Ripple Avenue, police say a man fired shots into a woman's car. Police identified that man as Christian Myers. Nobody was hurt in that incident. And about 13 hours later, police located Myers at a gas station Sunday afternoon. A brief police chase ended in a crash here at the intersection of Kessler and Binford Boulevard. That's when police say Myers and another suspect ran from the car. They say Myers then turned and pointed a gun at officers. The individual fired shots at the officers. Uh, three of our officers returned fire, striking the suspect. Both suspects were taken to the hospital. Myers with gunshot wounds in critical condition. Police say the other suspect complained of chest pains but was not shot. I believe our officers acted responsibly in this case. And, um, you know, I did get a chance to speak with them last night out at the scene, make sure they were okay. Uh, of course, uh, we, we hope that uh, this young man uh, survives, uh, but then we expect that the, the court will, will do their due with him and, and, and hold him accountable for his actions. Police say they found two guns at the scene. There was one gun um, with an extended mag that was recovered outside the passenger door of the suspect's vehicle where the car crash occurred prior to the foot pursuit. And there was a second gun with an extended mag and a, and a Glock switch uh, that was recovered at the scene where the individual our officers shot was located. I spoke with a woman whose car was shot here early Sunday morning. She says her daughter has a child with Myers and she was with her daughter when the shooting happened. They both didn't want to go on camera for safety reasons. In Indianapolis, John Duran, 13 News.